Once again, guys, this is Prince Dice here, the Royal Financial Investment Group. It's always coming to you guys with another great video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and leave some comments. Thumbs up and thumbs down if it's a good video or it's a horrible video or whatever. But uh, today's topic, as you can already see in the title description, is going to be Greek symbols and options, or options and Greek symbols. I don't know how I'm going to word it once this video is over, but you guys get the gist, right? But um, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time, so guess what we're going to do? Jump straight into it. So options, um, not options, but Greeks, what do they mean to options, right? So for example, I have Google pulled up here on my screen. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to options. Now, once you get to options, I'm just going to pick a random uh, contract here. It's January 22nd, I'm just going to click on the word, click on the word details. Now that I'm on details, this is what comes up. I'm going to stroll on down here to option analysis tool. You see this delta, gamma, theta, vega, rho, all the stuff like that. These are what's considered your Greek symbols uh, for options. Now, okay, Prince, that's cool. What does this mean? Let's start off with delta. Delta, the closer the number is to one, this is going to tell you how fast a stock is going to move compared to the underlying asset, not the stock, how fast the option is going to move compared to the stock move. Like, oh, if this stock moves, this is going to move very fast, this particular option. The, uh, it's, you know, um, the um, textbook language behind that means, uh, not language, but the textbook definition is delta represents the rate of return between the option price and the underlying asset. How sensitive, pretty much, it's pretty much saying, how sensitive is this going to be to a price change? So this is the one I like to look at because sometimes when I'm trading options, I want to get the biggest bang for my buck. I'm expecting a big move. So I want to get the one with the highest delta, the, the one that's closer to one, right? Now we're going to move along to gamma. Gamma for itself represents the rate of change between the option, between the options portfolio's delta and the underlying asset. In other words, this is like the second part of sensitivity. It's telling you how fast the delta is going to move um, compared to the options move. So these two kind of tie into each other, the delta and the gamma itself. The next one is the theta. Theta is a big one, right? The theta you know, I'm going to give you guys the uh, definition of a textbook definition. Represents the rate of change between the options portfolio and time. This pretty much theta is important because it tells you time, right? For example, this is January 22nd when this option expires. So theta is going to start eating away at some of the profits because the closer your, the closer your option gets to expiration date, the likelihood of um, the less word I'm looking for here demand people don't want it as much because it's getting ready to expire because guess what they can go get January 29th right because this one is getting ready to expire today so theta could come in and start kicking you behind so this is um, the Greek symbol for theta tells you uh, the time sensitivity of your stock like okay when it gets close to your stock expiration this thing is going to lose value very fast right Vega it's the next one Represents the rate of return between the options portfolio value and the underlying asset volatility. So the Vega pretty much tells me, long story short, uh, you know, layman terms, the sensitivity and volatility of a stock, like how sensitive this stock is, right? So you can see how these things all tie together. You got the delta and the gamma, they're telling you how sensitive the stock is towards so the Vega. The theta is telling you how sensitive it is to time, right? Now, the most important one up here that a lot of people don't pay attention to, that they don't really, you don't hear too many people talk about, is the implied volatility. Impli implied volatility. Now, this changes every day. Don't get me wrong. This because obviously every day you get closer to the uh, the stock moves, the stock gets closer to the expiration date. So these numbers change every day. So the implied volatility, I can make a video. I'm probably going to end up having to make a video on implied volatility itself. So a high, a high Implied volatility means that you should be selling stocks or gaining, taking a credit. Means that it's probably going to be overpriced and stuff like that, right? I don't want to get too deep into implied volatility in this video because I want to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point, and make probably make implied volatility its own video. So the once we're talking about the row right here, right, represents the rate of change between the options portfolio value and the interest rate. So this is pretty much telling you the sensitivity of the interest rate as it pertains to a particular option. This is one I really don't pay a whole lot of attention in as of right now. 
The ones I pay attention to the most is I pay attention to the delta, big time, the theta, and implied volatility. So implied volatility can explain, hey, why did this stock move and I lost money or I didn't make money? This kind of tells you something's overpriced. So I like to mess with um, implied volatility that's below 50, you know, when it gets up to 100, 200, 300, because some people just go in and just grab a put without looking at the deltas. So hopefully, you know, this video wasn't too long. I didn't time it this time. But this video wasn't too long. It gives you an understanding into the Greek symbols and how they apply and how why they're so important to when you pick a stock because not all options are created equal. And also, let me show you guys why you guys are on here as well. Another thing I pay attention to is the volume of a particular uh, stock as well. The open interest and the volume relationship. Okay, let's go back to the options chain. Right here, the volume and the open interest. For example, I'm going to show you something with a low volume and open interest so you can kind of compare the two. I'm going to pull up the uh, stock symbol YUM. We're going to go to options and we're going to go to February 5th. As you can see, look at this. It's low compared to what we just saw on Google, which is this has no volume. So pay attention to that as well. That was kind of a little bit off topic, just a little bone I threw out. But anyway, that's the introduction to the Greek symbols with options and how they and why they are important. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until the next video, you guys already know.